He gonna be with you tomorrow. Oh, you, ain't about to, you ain't about to get rid of me, are you? You ain't got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe even if you think about coming to work at FedEx, now you can see what it's like before you come out here. I, I just delivered to Cal Ripken not too long ago. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, he looks over there. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2024. It's, uh, it's 8.55 in the a.m. It ain't even 9 o'clock. I seen guys leaving already. I wonder why they leaving so early. My truck full. It ain't like uh, the big trucks didn't make it. My truck is full, son. I got Main Street today. That day on um, Thursday and Friday, they be putting Main Street on me. I hate Main Street. Main Street is the worst street. I all right, so we must got a new load over here today. Could you see how they got these stickers out? That's how they train the new people to put the stickers out. The people who've been here for a while, they know me that I don't use these stickers. Because these stickers are not very helpful for me. Because uh, the way my route is, like... So it must be a new person working. Um, I, did, I, saw, I saw one of the other FedEx drivers YouTube video. He was talking about how... He tried to build a rapport with his loaders and you know tell him how he like his truck set up and you know be friendly and all and that's good i usually i do that too but the loaders over here this is like the training belt for loaders so we don't get the same loaders but for a little while so like by the time you build a relationship with somebody they gone to another belt when now when i was on a different belt i used to have the same loader for a long time what's up bro I seen people leaving early. What happened with the early dispatch? They've been dispatched. It's fucking 7.30. 7.30? Yeah. That's new. Huh? That's, that's unusual, right? Because there's only 20,000 today. Oh. Ain't not, not a lot in this motherfucker at all. I got 164 stops, 241 packages, and then I got seven pickups. Um, This is not a light day. It's not a super heavy day, but it's not a light day neither. So these stickers, the way they got these stickers lined up, I don't use the stickers because it'll have you going back and forth. Like it won't be in order. Like you will have, you will have stuff over here, but then if you follow the stickers, it'll have you go over here next just to come back over here later. I don't. That don't make no sense. So I write on all of my packages. I write the address on all of my packages. Plus these, the the addresses on here be so small, like you can't hardly read it. So I got my marker and I write on it myself. I write the address on it myself. Every little second counts. So I'm not coming back here trying to squint my eyes and see what the address say. I write the address nice and big. So I, as soon as I look over, I know exactly what address is going to. So you see, I got some fresh new gloves. One thing I like about these gloves is I can uh, take these stickers off. The people up at the top of the belt that be, um, putting the stickers on this this they will put it over top of the label where you got to scan it and then like, I can't scan it so I got to peel the sticker off but the other gloves I have like some heavy duty gloves you can't you can't peel it off I like these gloves because they so uh, they almost like skin I can peel these stickers off and it saved me time I'm telling you every second counts because if you you got I got 200 some packages on here today if you if you spend in an extra 10 seconds on 200 packages what's what's the math on that 10 seconds times 200 let's say let's say 200 packages times 10 seconds that's an extra 2,000 seconds divided by 60 that's an extra 33 minutes just peeling off dang on stickers an extra 33 minutes if you if you're doing 10 seconds per package so every second counts and uh these gloves really help me out a lot with that. Another thing I like to do to help me save time, like all of this stuff is Main Street. Instead of me writing out Main Street, I just write the letter M, cause I know it's Main. But I had this one, this one house, this um, street was called, it was like, let's say it's 28 Constitution Square, right? So what I started doing was, I started writing 28, Consti um, SQ, right? And then it evolved to 28 
C squared. <laughs> a math equation. This is how I write it now. See all the time I save just writing the address down? Every second counts. And then I got my uh, my codes up here because different, some apartment complexes, some gated communities, I got to have a code and then instead of me looking at my phone or calling somebody like, yo, what's the code? I just write it on that little thing so I can keep track of it. Every second counts, man. I see a lot of time I'll be the last person in here. Like this guy, he'll leave before me. The other guy, he'll leave before me. But when, when I come back, I'll be the first one back because I run my route very efficiently and I save a lot of time doing this pre-work before I leave out. So then you got these uh, ICs over here on the side. I forget what IC stand for. I think it's irregular container. I don't know, That's a, but these ICs over here on the side over here. This the big stuff. I load this stuff up last. Once I load all my small stuff and regular stuff, I come out here and see what I got on the ICs. But then also you gotta make sure, cause sometimes we'll share this little chute. So his stuff will be in here and my stuff will be in here. So I gotta make sure I get all of my stuff because if somebody leave and they'll take their stuff, then be like, oh Dev, can you take this for me? No, make sure you get it before the other guy leave. You feel me? Cause I don't get paid per stop. I don't get paid per hour. I get paid a flat rate. So I'm not trying to do extra work if I don't have to. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes I'll help them out if it's something easy, if it's like in the neighborhood, but then sometimes they want you to drive way out in another neighborhood. I'm like, yo, I don't even go over there. I'm not taking that. You can't let them get comfortable. Cause then they, they'll try to rely on you too much cause they know you're a good worker. So they give you all this extra stuff cause they know you're going to do it. No, people try to take advantage. Another thing that let me know that there's some new guy loaded this truck Cause look at how this box is. It's sideways like this. It's more efficient to load it this way. It take up less space. You feel me? And then especially you could stack them on top. Boom, now I got all of that space now. This, this, this is how you wanna load the truck on the spine. You don't wanna load them like sideways like that. That's taking up too much space. So I come here in the morning and I see all this stuff sideways and it looked like, oh, I'm super heavy because all this space, taking up all the space. But come to find out, no, it's not that bad if you load it efficiently. I like efficiency. Another, another thing I like to do, if it's too big and I can't stack them on top of each other, instead of putting them side by side, I'll stand them up. Because that take, about the same amount of space as one of them on the uh, horizontal compared to the vertical. You feel me? Space. Now this is a apartment complex. Most of this stuff in this section is off an apartment complex. But when you get a black box like this, if I write on it, you can't, can't hardly see it. So I had to write on the, uh, the label itself and then like, since I know this whole section is gonna be the apartment complex, I'll just write on the middle one. So I'll have, I'll make it like a sandwich. I'll have one here and then one here and everything in between that, I know that that goes to the apartment complex. So that I don't have to write on every single package. Because again, it's all about saving time, being time efficient, maximizing time on task. The task is not to be looking for boxes the task is to deliver boxes to the right location quick fast like taco bell i don't write the whole address i just write taco you feel me boom quick fast audi i know the address i just write audi on there instead of writing the whole address and then i do one of these to make it easy to read so my eyes get drawn right to it Devin, what's up? Ronald, Ronald, Devin. Devin, this is the guy gonna up? be with you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, what's up, man? What's up, bro? What's happening? Uh, um, he gonna be with you tomorrow. Okay. And you, uh, uh, show him your way. My way. Yeah, the, the, you know what I mean? The efficient way. Right, because he already know a way. Okay. But he needs to know your way. You know what I mean? How you do the route. Yeah. How you focus it on what makes you 
with the jump. Okay. Right. Ronald. Yeah. Gotcha. And what time you get here? I should be here by eight. That's good content right there. You get to see how I train somebody in real time. You already see how I'm just talking to this camera. Let's see in real time. Yeah. yeah. Going left black on too. Dang, for real? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then the next person who bring a whole bunch of shit back, that's my third person. I'm gonna let them go there immediately that day. Dang. You gotta make change, bro. You gotta make a statement some way, somehow. I right, ain't about to, you ain't about to get rid of me, are you? You ain't got shit to do. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> you, you heard? Yo, know, you from the old school. I don't think I could if I really thought about it. I get rid of you. Like why? Give me uh, at least give me two weeks' notice if nah, you're gonna get rid of me. Nah, 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 I nah. I give you two weeks' notice. I'm gonna quit. You got a job for me for life. Yeah, uh, you from the old school. Yeah. You're different. You're doing a lot different than most niggas. Yeah, yo, old school. People been here for a long time. Needs to get some type of immediate assistance. Like some more vacation time. Vacation? I was thinking cash, but uh, yeah, I can say that to him too. Because that's why he. Because right. yo, I've been here five years. I only get one week's vacation. Right, and you should have two. Something. Yeah, I'm, that's what we can discuss right now. I got a life, yo. Exactly. I want to go to Colorado. Me, me too. <laughs> me too. Uh, me too. Yo, I swear to God, no bullshit. I bought the boots and everything. That. I'm home. At the gym, my girl wanna go there and smoke weed. I wanna go there to ski. Yeah. Some days are harder than others. And then some days are light. You just gotta take the good with the bad. Cause you're a new, you're a new manager. You were just right. straight driver. Right, right. So you know what it's like. Right, exactly. And that's what I'll be trying to tell Man, if he can get me some more vacation time, shh, man, what? You know what I can do with two weeks vacation? Do you know what I did with one week vacation? I took my one week vacation and I edited mad videos. I don't be, um, I haven't gone nowhere since 2018. I need some time. Never mind the money, I can make some money. I can't make no time. Ugh. He said he gonna have me training this new guy cause he about to get rid of some guys. I'm like, son, at least give me a notice if you're gonna get rid of me. I'll give you a notice. Most jobs, they, they don't care about that, man. They don't care what you got going on. They don't give you no two weeks notice. What? That's what I'm saying. I got I got to get this thing cranking. I got to get this YouTube channel cranking. I can't rely on this one job. I mean, I got my photography, and that's definitely helping uh, fill in the blanks or whatever. But this FedEx, I'm getting old, body breaking down. I got gray hairs now. Son. Mr. Bob, I don't know how Mr. Bob still work here. Mr. Bob almost gotta be like 60 years old. I don't know, he maybe ain't 60, but Mr. Bob up there, he's still slinging boxes. I'm not trying to be like that. You know? I'm not trying to be 50 years old, still slinging boxes. No, there is a better life. When I look around at the people who been here longer than me, if that's what I got to look forward to, that's I don't want that. I don't want that life. The life that they live in, I don't want that life. Now I see some of these uh, YouTubers out here, I see these content creators, they living the life I want to live. So I'm doing what they doing. And documenting my day. And hopefully you guys like it. And it's entertainment. And you get some value out of it. And maybe even if you think about coming to work at FedEx, now you can see what it's like before you come up here. Man, I had this, uh, the lights on up here. It drained my battery. Now I'm trying to start the truck. It won't start, man. I need a jump. All right, we got it all loaded up. 170 stops. It's 10.59, 11 o'clock. I got here at about 9 o'clock on the dot. So it was that's two hours of pregame. As you can see, I'm the last man standing. Everybody gone except me, and I'm waiting for the jump box, son. He still ain't get that jump box. Yeah, y'all. Man, I gotta go to Taco Bell. Don't block the Taco Bell, son. Tiquero Taco Bell. Or is it Yokero Taco Bell? I love Taco Bell. How you say it? Y'all speak, if anybody speaks Spanish, how are you supposed to say it? Is it Tiquero or Yokero? All right, son. Now 
Now this one house, I gotta pull up on the curb to get to this one house. I don't wanna block, I don't wanna block the main road. So I gotta pull up on the curb. One time I pulled up on the curb like this, somebody was honking the horn, get off the curb! I'm like, son, where, where else, what you want me to hold up traffic? This is a main street. You want me to sit right here in the, in the middle of the lane? Go around, get a life. Ain't got nothing better to do. People, people just be miserable. And why everybody be miserable with them? And you know what? That's why I really don't. I don't be going off on people because I just, I really just feel sorry for them. Cause they probably living a miserable life. Your wife probably left you. And most of the time, the wife leaves. You probably taxes, property taxes going up, gas going up, food going up. You probably just miserable, y'all. And I feel sorry for you. So I just hear it and let it go. Gotta get a signature. So if there's nobody home, and you can't get a signature, then you leave one of these little stickers on there. I'm gonna put, keep this in my pocket so I ain't gotta go through this again. Put a code seven. Residential recipient not in, unable to get a signature. Leave this on the door. Boom. We do three attempts. On the third attempt, if you don't, if you're not there to sign for it, send it back. Can't come here every day and you're not here to sign for it. You get three chances, three strikes, and then you out. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what podcast you like. I'm always up for a good podcast, huh? PVD talk about current events, sports politics, economy, business, a little bit of everything. And we have some good guests on there, kind of like Joe Rogan. Man, we starting to get some sunshine going. Man, it's starting to look nice out here. What the I'm talking about? Yeah, boy. Just the one. Just one. I got it. My man. Nice hat. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, man. Mona, are you guys affiliated with Carl and, and Laura Ripken? Yes. Yes? All right. Carl Ripken? Carl and Laura Ripken? Is, was that the Carl Ripken? Yo, son, is that the Carl Ripken? What's Carl Ripken's wife's name? Laura. Dang, that was Carl and Laura Ripken. He lives in Annapolis. Oh, snap. Y'all know who Kyle Ripken is, the baseball player, Hall of Fame. Dang, that's crazy. I ain't even peeped that. <laughs> Mr. Dwight, leave the Reese Cups out here. You know I like the Reese Cups. Thanks. Maybe y'all see me on one of them ring camera videos. FedEx man pulls up, take. Reese cups on a daily basis. We got coats. Yeah, we're very privileged over here at FedEx. We got the coats to almost everything around here. Almost everything. Now the post office, they do have the code to everything. I ain't got the code to everything. Sometimes I still gotta get buzzed in. But uh, something is better than nothing, right? This little bush is so pretty. With these pink petals come falling down. I forget what the name of this plant is, but I like it. I like it a lot. Perfect timing. Are you to me? Yes. What did you say? Perfect timing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear it over the oh, dog. Oh, yeah, over the dog, right? <laughs> I know. Got it. Do I have to sign for it? No. No, you're well, good. Thank you. Don't you love this weather? I, I love it. It's so much better than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was a mess. I went swimming. What a nightmare. You were probably soaked. Right? I was. It socks. Was, soggy socks. It was nasty. Real bad. Nasty. And they played the baseball game. Are you an Orioles fan? I am. No, I, I just delivered to Kyle Ripken not too long ago. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, he lives over there. He lives over here? Yeah. Wow. Over I know. But um, they played that game. 
Oh wow. Which I couldn't believe they got that game in. Yeah. But hey, they won. Yeah. Did your basement flood? No. Good. Some people basement flood it. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. You're welcome. One thing I like about this job is being like on the same route every day. You get to learn your route. You can learn certain shortcuts. Like this one I'm about to pull. Cause this little side street. That's a doozy trying to back my truck down here. But when you know about the little cut through, you can hit it like this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now the girl Don who originally trained me on this route, she didn't show me about this little back little cut. I had to figure this out on my own. That's one another thing I like about this job is the problem solving. So you get a challenge. I like to figure it out. And then like they they put a new section on me. At first I'll be slow because I don't know what's going on, but over time I get faster and faster. Every day I get a little bit faster. Like when I found a shortcut, I got real fast. That's a that's another thing I like. This route got a lot of businesses where they be giving out snacks. I mean good premium snacks. It's a um, place I can stop and use the bathroom. I had went to another route last year for like a month. I went to um, the girl Tasha. We used to work together on the same belt, but she moved up and now she's a manager of another belt. And I went over there with them, but that route and the way they sold it to me was like, oh, it's no businesses. It's just a whole bunch of residents. So I'm like, yeah, residents, that's good because the businesses take long. Cause like this, I had to pull over in the parking lot. Sometimes you gotta go up on the elevator. You gotta jump through all these hoops to deliver to a business. But the residents, they be easy. You just run up, drop them off quick, fast. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's what I thought. Man, when I got on that route, them houses were so spaced out. Like this neighborhood is so compact. I'm pretty much on the same little two or three mile radius. That other route, I was driving all up and down, all around. It took me so long to get to the next neighborhood. I was out there till like seven o'clock, eight o'clock every day, doing a bunch of residents. I'm like, yo, and at first I thought it was me because I didn't know the route. So I'm saying, all right, I'm gonna give it another couple weeks to figure out the route. But when I figured out the route, I'm like, yo, it's not me, it's this route. This route is too spaced out. They come to find out they can't keep nobody on that route. Everybody who get that route, they quit. Because it's too spaced out, you're gonna be out there all day. You have no life. I say I'm out there till seven, eight o'clock. That means I'm not getting home till like nine o'clock, son. No, there is a better life. So I came back over here. That really made me appreciate this route so much more. Cause I got bathroom stops. I got a little spot I can stop and get something to eat. Taco Bell, I got the mall. I got all them businesses over there on um, Main Street. Like this route was good, son. I can come in here late and get off early. I can I can show up to the building at 8 p.m. and still get home by like five. At the other spot, at the other route, if I showed up at eight o'clock, man, I'm not getting home till nine o'clock at night. That that other route was trash. So, uh, I mean, no, I don't want to work at FedEx the rest of my life, but while I'm here, I gotta make the best of it. And I like this route. I like this route. Even if, even when, like I say, when they start adding stuff to me, it's still all in the same neighborhood. Like this, this Main Street stuff, which I hate Main Street, but it's still in the same neighborhood. So it's not taking me too far out of the way. I can still get home at a decent time. And I still pretty much know where I'm at. I know all the streets. I just don't like Main Street because it's so busy. And it's like, you gotta find parking and then walk all the way up the street to deliver the box. You gotta get the handcart and walk all the way up the street. I don't like that. I'm trying to get in and get out. And then sometimes it ain't no way to park. It just, it just be too much going on, so. All this free parking, why ain't you just park? Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Pedestrian's supposed to have the right of way, right? You know, I always think it's funny how sometimes I deliver to places and the person be like, what is it? And I'm like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you ordered. Like, 
Now this, cause they doing construction on this house. And I think it's weird that they get in the box from B&H. B&H is a camera company. I'm like, why am I delivering camera equipment to a construction site? I can see if it was like a Home Depot box. But uh, yeah, I always think that's funny. Like, I don't know, you forgot what you ordered? Maybe they um taking pictures of the progress before and after. Cause this house, man, this house was busted. That this house over here and this house over here busted for years. Somebody finally renovating it. What you need, God's got. You got everything you need. So I got this message on my scanner, 201 West Street. This pickup has been removed from your pickup listing for today. So I pull up, cause I got a bunch of deliveries right here. The lady flagging me down in the window. I'm guessing she still needs somebody to pick it up. Hey, hey. Hey, we had a ground schedule pickup for these. Yeah, but they just took it off my scanner. I'll take them out. Okay. You still got snacks? What's that? You got snacks back then? Yeah, of course. <laughs> What's your favorite? I like bananas. I like bananas, but what else y'all got? I got premium stuff back here? I like pound cake. Hey. Premium, premium snacks. She looked like she was going through. But have no fear. Dev is here. I got you. Dang, this is heavy. <sighs> Have a good one. You too. Fun fact, do you know the difference between a maze and a labyrinth? Do you know what's the difference? Pause the video, leave a comment, and then come back and start the video and see if you was right. Now the difference between a maze and a labyrinth is that a maze has more than way more than one way to get in and more than one way to get out a labyrinth only has one way to get in and one way to get out this day going downtown area is like a labyrinth there's one way to get in and it's one way to get out <clears throat> i've been running routes in this area for the last five years coming down this street I always back down the street I never had to go through this gate. I was always fighting the school traffic to come out the gate this way. This is my first time ever going in this way because they added that Main Street. Main Street is something new. Every now and then they add a new section to me and now they added this Main Street section. I do not like Main Street. The only good thing about Main Street is that it allows me to get content for you guys because it'd be so busy and I'm ducking and dodging through pedestrians and in and out of different businesses i imagine that that's probably entertaining and inter interesting to watch me duck and dodge through all of them uh, obstacles so that's the only good thing about main street otherwise than that they can take that off son i do not like main street at all yeah so i'm down here in annapolis down here at the annapolis harbor not yesterday but uh, last time it rained real hard down here all of this was flooded. I saw a picture on Instagram, that was a guy on a kayak riding around here through the streets cause all of this flooded. Over here, he had a kayak and we're just boating around on Main Street. If I can find a picture, I see it on Instagram, if I can find it, I'm gonna put it in here. But then I come driving through, I was just like, wow, all of this was underwater. So you could have literally went swimming. Went and took a little kayak or a little canoe ride. Y'all ever been to Annapolis? Leave a comment down below. Of course I'm not supposed to leave the truck running while I'm not with it. But you see I had to get the jump box this morning. If I cut this truck off and it don't start back up, who gonna be out here for two hours waiting for the mechanic? 
I'm gonna be out here for two hours waiting for the mechanic. So no, I'll leave the truck running. I gotta, I gotta look out for myself. Ain't nobody else gonna look out for me. Gotta look out for myself. And I know from experience, that happened to me before. I cut the truck off and it wouldn't start up. And I had to wait for hours for the mechanic to come get me a jump. So no, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. If I'm gonna make a mistake, it's gonna be a new mistake. I'm not gonna do the same stuff over and over again. No, not that. Man, the sun's starting to come out and it's still glistening after that rain. This is so nice. This camera is not doing it justice. You can see what I see. Man, this is so nice. Oh. Look at this, look at this. He can't handle them dogs. He ain't walking them, they walking him. They taking him for a walk. He like, yeah, let's go take the human for a walk. Got the whole crew. The whole Navy crew. Let's go, boys. April showers bring May flowers. It has been raining for days. Yeah. That's what they say. This is what I'm talking about. When the sun come out after rain and the street be glistening like this, shining, and like taking portraits on a street, like downtown, and it be shining and glistening like that, man, it'd be so nice. Battery about to die, so I gotta cut this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button, watch another video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.